well, thanks very much, everyone, for being here for this third event that we have put together. And really, it's Julie Groker, and she's the deputy leader for Sheffield City Council. And over to you, Julie. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Julie Gokut. I'm the, um, one of the three Labour councillors for Stocksbridge and Upper Don Ward, and I was recently elected the Deputy Leader of Sheffield City Council. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the organisers for putting the event on this afternoon. These things um, don't just happen quite easily. It does take quite a lot of um, hard work and commitment, so thank you to those of you who've helped to organise it. What I want to do this afternoon is just give you a quick whistle to stop tour of some of the um, initiatives and things we've got going on in the City Council um, to help with climate change. So I suppose the best place for me to start really um, is by mentioning that back in 2019, um, the Labour Council declared a, a climate emergency and stated that Sheffield should become net zero by 2030. Um, to achieve this, the Council commissioned a piece of work by Arup who put together um, our pathways to zero for us. Um, we spent the last year working with um, Arab to develop our route to the emissions reductions. And these touch on every aspect of life and work in the city and focus on specific actions for everyone, including what the council can do to enable citywide action. There are over 80 recommended actions that are set out for the council, citywide stakeholders and the government. Um, a number of prioritised actions are highlighted with the intention of engaging the city and catalyzing a step change in how Sheffield should approach its commitment to, the, to its zero um, carbon target. Um, these include things such as improving the fabric of buildings, reducing energy consumption, reducing the use of the fossil fuels, increasing active travel, increasing the use of public transport, consolidating freight and decarbonising vehicles. Um, the, report, the report actually shows that if, if we could pull all the levers that are currently available, um, Sheffield could reduce its carbon emissions by 85% by 2030. Uh, joining the race to zero, um, we are pledging to get the city to a zero carbon at its earliest possible date, whilst working to make the council net zero by 2030. This was one of the key commitments from the Labour Party manifesto, and we were pleased to get this into the agreement that we now have with the Green Party, where we have a cooperation agreement to run the council. This year, we've already committed around £5 million to retrofit in 1950 and 60 build properties with um, external insulation to get these properties more energy efficient. We're looking at what we can do to improve the thermal, thermal efficiency of the rest of the council's estate. Um, and we've been successful in getting government funding for council, private and owner-occupied homes um, that, will, um, that we hope is the start of um, more funding to come in the future to help with this particular initiative. Um, we've rolled out rapid charging points um, for electric vehicles, including some that are currently being installed in the um, council car park on Johnson Street in um, Stocksbridge. We've put um, active travel solutions together to, to encourage people to get out of the cars. The Connecting Sheffield project focuses on engaging active travel and supporting the shift towards sustainable transport in, around, in and around the city. It encompasses a range of transport schemes focused on delivering change for the city's walking, cycling and public transport infrastructure. Um, the project will be delivered in phases and focuses on areas that have been identified as locations where people are making short car journeys from home to work and into the city centre. It's proposed that the schemes will enable these journeys to be made more safely by cycling, especially for shorter trips, and more quickly and reliably um, by bus. The um, Transforming City schemes are basically um, one that runs across the city centre. There's one, um, Neeps End and Callum to the city centre, Netheredge to the city centre, um, Magna to Tinsley, 
where we're hoping that Rotherham Council will then join up to take that into Rotherham Town Centre. Um, then there's Attercliffe to Darnell and Abbeydale Road to Ecclesall Road. So what we're trying to do in effect is have a spine that runs across the city centre with um, these routes connecting in from the nearest um, district centres to the city centre. And then hopefully when um, funding allows, who knows when, they can then um, spread further out um, across the city. So that's a long, obviously a longer term plan. We're also working to support public transport through the pandemic with an eye to improving what we all know is a, a very failing bus service. And I'm sure that you're all aware that um, Sheffield City Region are currently undertaking work on the bus strategy um, to access government funding for public transport across the whole of the region. We currently have an electric van trial scheme operating across Sheffield. If you have a business or a charity with a diesel vehicle, you can apply to loan one of the 30 electric vans that we have. Um, the scheme is operating in partnership with Highways England and the aim is to get businesses into electric vehicles. Um, we're also currently exploring a clean air zone for Sheffield. Um, this matters um, on a climate front as nitrous oxides are potent um, greenhouse gases. I'm sure you're all aware of that. And they are you know, very detrimental to both health and lung function. So it's quite important that we, you know, we do deal with that, with that issue. We're also looking at locally grown food. There's a number of good schemes that are in and around um, the city. And I actually have a meeting with stakeholders um, to explore this next month as it happens. Um, I'm sure you're all aware that as um, Labour councillors, we made Sheffield the first local authority in the country to ban um, fracking applications on council uh, um, own land. That's something that we've had in place for a few years now. In relation to renewable energy, um, the council now purchases electricity generated from 100% renewable sources. We have established um, energy surgeries and install smart meters for council tenants, creating up to 40% savings for tenants, as well as substantial reductions in um, wasted energy. Flood protection, again, is something that is really important that we invest in, and the city has um, been doing this now for some time. Our Greater Green projects um, have received international interest and have also won lots of awards. As you all know, Sheffield is a green city. It's a home to two million trees. We've got some beautiful ancient woodlands, fabulous parks, and the Greater Green projects have brought more of this colour actually into our city centres. Um, phase one of the Greater Green was um, completed some time ago from West Bar to Ladies Bridge. And through the creation of sustainable urban drainage, the Greater Greens um, new public space doubles as a rain garden, moderating the flow of water and creating innovative um, sustainable drainage in the part of the city that's been twice severely flooded. Um, and the scheme is now being extended at Castlegate and into Angel Street. In relation to um, waste management, we managed to keep all the household waste recycling centres open throughout the pandemic. Um, it was interesting, recycling rates increased by 11%. We currently send less than 1% of black bin waste to landfill. And I think what's been really pleasing um, for me to see is that across the city, lots of new groups of litter pickers have been set up. We have a number that are operating in my ward um, and I was out with them only last weekend and it was great to see that we got the local scouts and beavers coming along as well. So we're getting young people um, involved and invested, which is um, really good. Um, looking to the future, over the next 10 years, the council will be planting um, 100,000 extra trees as part of Labour's trees and woodland strategy. And um, our parks and green spaces are also undergoing the biggest investment that we've seen for um, decades, with millions of pounds being spent improving parks and green spaces. Um, we are very keen um, and it is a priority to protect our green belt. Um, so you, you'll all be aware that the local development plan um, we are looking to make sure that we don't build um, on green belts. We want to see new homes on brownfield sites um, closer to the city centre so that we can leave the green belt free from development. I'm sure you'll all be aware that housing targets for the city are imposed by central government and these targets have led to some local authorities building on the green belt. Um, we do currently have an issue with the, um, the number that the government have recently increased um, our target by. 
Other initiatives in relation to air quality include the anti-idling zones that we now have outside all our primary and secondary schools and, of course, outside other notable places such as hospitals. We've committed further investment for school streets. We had a trial of some a couple of years ago, just before the pandemic, um, where roads outside schools are closed during drop off and pick up times to address the adverse effects of school traffic and to encourage people to choose alternatives to driving to school and helping to improve localised air quality. Um, at the last full council meeting, we supported um, a motion declaring a biodiversity emergency. With support of Sheffield citizens, we hope to establish a Sheffield citizen pledge to make space for nature. Um, how the space is made and what the final pledge will look like is very much um, in the gift of um, people of Sheffield. But obviously the biodiversity emergency will go hand in hand with the climate emergency. Um, and on that very positive note, I will um, hand back to the chair with my whirlwind run through. Thanks ever so much, Julie. That was a very comprehensive and concise account of all the plans. I note there are a couple of issues within the chat that might be uh, addressed either in the breakout group or, or, or later. 